These are my top five wines that pair perfectly with barbecue season. So starting off, I've selected a Chardonnay from California. This is Pacific Grove Chardonnay. It's barrel fermented, so we get those nice characteristics of the oak maturation, which is some vanilla and toast and smoke in combination with a really nice zesty um, citrus flavor on the fruit. This is a great wine for pairing with our chicken dishes on the barbecue. Think about a spatchcock chicken. When you leave it in contact with the bones, you get additional flavor, which is gonna pair really nicely with the intensity of the fruit in the Chardonnay. So here I can smell the oak, really nice ripe fruit aromas. On the palate, it's very creamy, very typical for a California Chardonnay. Those notes of vanilla, some pineapple, perfect with chicken. Next up, we can't talk about summertime without some nice refreshing bubbles. So here I've selected the Zonin Prosecco Rosé. Now this is a very interesting um, style of wine because it's a very new kind of um, regulatory change. In Italy, uh, we've had Prosecco for many, many years, but it's only within the last couple years that they've allowed rosé wines to be produced from this region. So here we have the Glera Grape Variety, which has been tinted ever so slightly with some Pinot Noir that's also grown in the region. Uh, so a new and exciting trend, um, something to try with your barbecue foods, such as salmon um, or chicken as well. So this is nice and light and spritzy. Prosecco has just a little bit of that frothy, creamy mousse. On the palate, I get those nice creamy bubbles. Um, with the Glera, you get some white floral, pear and apple notes, but that Pinot Noir gives you just a hint of some strawberry flavors as well. A great, easy sipper for the beginning um, of the afternoon, but also pairs perfectly with barbecue dinner. Moving on to our reds, I've got a nice juicy wine from the Cote de Rhone Appellation. So here we have Femi Perrin Keran Red Blend. This is a blend of Grenache and Syrah from the Southern Rhone Appellation in France. Because we have um, Grenache in here, Grenache has this really lovely strawberry, um, juicy characteristic, and then Syrah gives you some nice structure, black pepper, and some meaty notes. So something that you could enjoy on its own, Chill it down just a hint if you're wanting to serve it before dinner, but also because of the structure of the Syrah, we can also pair with some of those grilled meats, think pork chops or ribs, um, something like that. So I can smell those nice um, juicy strawberry aromas. On the palate, there's the structure, the tannins, that mouth drying sensation um, coming from the Syrah more of an elegant style of a Cote de Rhone. If you're looking for this style, anything from the Cote de Rhone would do really well, but the village wines tend to have a, just a little bit more concentration and complexity on the palate. For the next wine, we have Amalaya Malbec. This is a really interesting wine that comes from Salta, which is in the north of Argentina. If you get a chance to go to Argentina, you would be challenged not to go a meal without having meat. It is part of the diet there um, and often served with Malbec. So this is your perfect steak wine. What I like about this fact that this wine comes from Salta is because we're in the north, we have a little bit more altitude um, and it's a little bit of a cooler area. The majority of the Malbecs are coming from Mendoza. Um, they're in the foothills of the Andes Mountains. We have enough um, sunlight and heat in order to ripen the Malbec grapes properly. But as we climb up the um, Andes Mountains in the altitude, we also retain a really nice um, bit of acidity. And acidity is really important for this refreshing characteristic in wine. So when we're coming from Salta, this fresh acidity, as well as the bold, typical flavors of Malbec is the perfect combination. I find that with Malbec, I get this very blue fruited characteristic. So lots of blueberry, um, blackberry, uh, notes a little bit of violet. And I always find just a hint of some steeped black tea as well. And all of those are showing up in the glass here. On the palate, it's rich and decadent, just as I would expect from a classic Argentine Malbec. But then it does have that really nice mouthwatering sensation. It makes me wanna go back for another sip. 
um, and definitely wants me ha uh, to have a nice piece of beef. Frimitivo is the same grape variety as Zinfandel. So this is layer cake. It's actually labeled um, both. You'll see we have Zinfandel and Primitivo on the label. Primitivo is the Italian name for the grape variety and Zinfandel is the name in California. But here we have this grape variety that tends to get um, very ripe. We get these dried fruit characteristics, uh, quite jammy as well on the palate. And this kind of sweet fruit is perfect for barbecue sauces. So think about anything that you're gonna slather some barbecue sauce on, go straight to your Primitivo or Zinfandel. Um, what I like about this one is that we have that very clear packaging which kind of helps you um, because Italian labels can be a little bit hard to decipher. So I can smell those nice dried fruit, um, blackberry jam, raspberry jam aromas, some sweet baking spice, Very decadent, very bold, very rich. You can just imagine it with those sticky ribs. Um, you're gonna wanna have some napkins around because by the time you pick up that glass, you're gonna get the barbecue sauce everywhere. Um, but this is just gonna be that decadent um, splash at the end of the day. So here we have a collection of some wines from all over the world that pair perfectly with barbecued foods. And of course, let's not forget some vegetarian options. We also have a really great pairing with corn on the cob, um, thinking about some nice grilled um, red peppers and zucchini um, kebabs, and as well as some nice mushrooms to pair with our Cote de Rhone.